Hello and welcome to CyberArk Identity. I'm going to talk about the reporting interface we provide you as an identity administrator. We have a number of categories of built-in reports, and these are very useful. For instance, logins by country is a favorite. If you click the checkbox and view details, you can see how this report is built. This is the actual SQL or structured query language that is used to pull the data out of your database according to the data dictionary um, that we provide you right here in this column. There's also a link here to learn more to take you into our knowledge base system uh, to read more about the reporting interface. But looking at this report, we can see it's filtered between a when occurred is greater than or equal to a start date and also when when occurred is less than or equal to the end date and that we're also querying for specific event type cloud core login so this tells us this is the event we want to um, utilize when we want to look at all logins into your identity tenant and this would be the column when occurred that we want to use to filter on a particular dates so with this information um, loaded into your brain, let's get started and build a custom report. What I'm going to do is show you how to look at the login data and then build a report with a summary per day. So I'm going to put a name for easy sorting to my um, custom reports that I've built. Actually, let me be a little more descriptive here. We're going to do a login count by day. So using the UI, you can come in here and select and say, I want to see uh, when occurred. And it will prompt you for some uh, event filters. So uh, one way to do this is to use absolute since a specific day and time or relative. You can say 31 days ago. And then it's asking you, what? how do you want to filter the event table? Commonly, we do the cloud core, or we're looking for the cloud core login from the event type. So we would type that in, making sure to actually put our hands on the right keys. And the UI would then select all of these columns of data when the event is an actual Cloud Core login and the one occurred has been the last 31 days. So we could actually save this and it would put this under my report and we can view it and we see an awful lot of data here uh, that you know might be of interest to you on other situations uh, for example you can see federated logins multi-factor etc and uh, we can see usernames arthur dent arabica so uh, useful data but not what we were really looking for so let's go back to modify but this is not all lost. Uh, we, we know we want the Cloud Core login um, as our main filter. We know we want it from the event table. But let's click Edit and let's start uh, changing this up. Uh, we'll come back to the select statement in just a minute. Well, let's start with the uh, date filter here. We're going to click over to parameters and we're going to add to start time. Enter prompt text. This is shown to you as an administrator, and we select the type of date. Here we go. Now that that's built, we come back here and we're going to remove this uh, static time and say when occurred greater than or equals to start the time didn't I start time and do another and here and just copy this change this to less than 
can change this to the end time. And I forgot my at sign. You have to use the at sign to mention that this is the parameter that we're prompting for at the beginning. Now, while I'm down here on the end of the report, I'm going to tip my hand and show you uh, what I'm going to be doing with the select statement. I've done some research and had this uh, prepared ahead of time. But I know we have to group by month day and order by month day with ascending um, order. So now let's go to the actual select statement. Since I'm not interested in the raw data as such, um, replace took out all of those tables, and we are instead going to look at two pieces of information in this report. The first one is we are actually going to see what the uh, the month day is, and I've since change this to use a four digit year, two digit month, two digit day for nice sorting that I think is pretty universally recognized um, and interpretable and across multiple regions and locales. I think that one will be very useful. And then the second uh, option that we're selecting here is where we're using the SQL function count to give us the number of logins. It's going to count the entries where the day format it matches so that we get a um, complete count using the UTC um, data that's in the in, in the event table. I click save. I had no errors. Everything appeared to validate just fine. So now if we click view, it's going to prompt for the beginning. So we're going to say days from ago say 31 and then we're going to select something in the future not crazy just one hour from now to make sure that we complete the most recent hour this is optional you can do specific um, days we could have done one day ago and here we go we now have uh, the month day in our uh, eight-digit format of four-digit year, two-digit month, two-digit day, sorted properly. And we have the number of logins that this tenant saw each day. You'll notice weekends are skipped. When nobody's signing in on the weekend. And that is a custom report to give you a login count per day.